Hello, my name is Kate Crowley. I'm on the faculty in the program of Communication Sciences and Disorders at Teachers College, Columbia University. I've created these video modules with my co-author, Georgia Dwan. Welcome to Module 7 of Differential Diagnosis and Preschool Evaluations, a Case Study. In this module, we are going to listen to Alice's articulation and gather his speech sound inventory using just an articulation screener from the PLS-5, and then we will hear his speech sound repetitions. Say, pan. Pan. Say, pot. Pot. Very nice. Say, bird. Bird. Very nice. Say, teeth. Teeth. What are these? Teeth. Yes. Say dog. Dog. Say go. Go. Very nice. Monkey. Monkey. Very nice. Horse. Horse. Say see see. See see. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Say feather. Say the the. 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 Oh, it tickles me. <laughs> you got to get your tongue between your teeth like this. Now your tongue is not between your teeth. Try again. Where's your tongue? There it is. Now, there you go, right there. That's fine. How about this? Chicken. Chicken. Do it again. Chicken. Chicken. How about choose? Choose. 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 Wow. How about shoes? Shoes. <laughs> How about shoes? Yeah. Who says that to you? Um, mommy. Mommy, yeah. Some mommies always have to say that sometimes. Shh. Let me hear you do that again. Very nice. Now say a lamp. Lamp. Light. Light. Yeah, that's fine. How about sun? Sun. Wow. How about zebra? Zebra. Wow, you got some sounds there. How old are you? Seven? Yeah. What? How old are you? Two. <laughs> How about this? Car. Car. Very nice. He's got so many great sounds. Red. Red. Uh-huh. So, you know. Um, let me just see if I have a couple more that I want you to do. A couple more words. Would that be okay? Yeah. How about mommy? Mommy. Daddy. Daddy. Abuela. Abuela. Uh-huh. Say, zee zi. zee. Zee. Zoo. Zoo. Da da da. Da 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 da. Ba ba ba. Ma ba ma ba. Ti ti ti. Ti ti ti. Shh shh shh. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. He's got everything. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Ruff. La. By this point in the evaluation, we have heard Alex produce many different consonants and vowels. We're not thinking he has an articulation problem or disordered phonological processes, but to further confirm this, we can use a brief articulation screener to see what sounds he can produce. We heard all of the sounds we would expect for a two-year, 10-month-old, and virtually every sound needed for the English language. We didn't hear the voiced or voiceless TH, and the R and the L were a bit disordered, except that last time we heard him repeat la 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 after me. Here is how we would write that up. Alex is able to produce all age-appropriate sounds and also sounds that are well above his age expectations, including m, p, b, n, t, d, k, g, s, z, sh, ch, f, v. 
While his earliest speech language evaluations indicated they had phonological processes, that is not the case for several reasons. First, most of the phonological processes identified in those earlier evaluations are developmentally appropriate, such as the stopping of the S and cluster reductions. Secondly, Alex's sound production is extremely variable and is continually changing. Based on what we have heard, we know that the underlying issue behind Alex's poor intelligibility is not articulation and not phonological processes, and we are still trying to figure out what is the reason his intelligibility is so poor. We have noticed that sometimes the beginning or ending consonants might be distorted, and sometimes the vowels are distorted. This leads us to think perhaps we are dealing with a case of developmental apraxia. With this in mind, let's probe further in the next module, looking at dynamic assessment with non-word, syllable, and sentence repetition.